So isn't it the job of journalists and people in the public eye to critique what she says? Yeah, I absolutely agree with you. That's that's the job of a journalist. But Piers Morgan took it somewhere else. I, I've been on GMTV several times with Piers Morgan, and yes, and he's done a professional job. But I, but what I saw this time, there's something un, else going on underlining this. And what it reminds me of, it reminds me of a a spurned or jealous ex partner who's just got a bee in the bonnet about the about the woman. And this, in this case. Pierce has got a bee in his bonnet about Meghan. It seemed like she stood him up some time previously before he, he said that accidentally he was the one responsible for getting her and, and Prince Harry together. And my simple thing is this, is that the, the, the sort of thing that he was spouting out, spouting out goes beyond being professional. And, and it goes something deeper and personal. But my thing is simply there, this. There are going to be some people that think that what Meghan was saying was going beyond being professional. There was no need to potentially bring in a racist story when there was no detail whatsoever, essentially throwing all members of the family under the bus. And I accept what you're saying about what was perceived as the personal element when it comes to Piers Morgan. But look, as far as I know, Calvin is as passionate as Piers Morgan. There are many others in this debate that are as passionate as Piers Morgan when it comes to our institution being attacked. And they don't have personal relationships, as far as I'm aware, Calvin, with uh, with Meghan Markle. So doesn't it go beyond Piers' ego? But I will say this. Meghan went beyond herself to say, she wasn't saying that the, the, um, the uh, royal family was racist. She said that she had a, a, um, an experience where pe a person spoke inappropriately. And there might have been good intention, but their good intention was not put, um, possibly politically correct. And, but my thing is going back to where we are now. As I said, she spoke as far as she's concerned in her truth. And who's Piers Morgan, who's not qualified to be a doctor, to say that she has not got mental illness? When someone is, 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 is down to the person who perceive that they have that, and we must be very careful it, for, to challenge someone who believe that the pressure that she, even though she's been uh, um, a celebrity in America, she, couldn't, she, she did not know what she was about to face with the British press. And she just could not hack it. I mean, isn't, it's not isn't, isn't that a fair point, Calvin? That look, that the, that there was a line crossed there. It went beyond critiquing her words and her account, and actually critiquing her perceived mental health problems. And you and I and Piers Morgan are 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 in no position to question her mental health. And doesn't that just cross the line somewhat? Look, I, you know, I've also been on GMB several times and disagreed with Piers Morgan on many things. This, is, I, this isn't the line I would have taken, but I do think he's right to call her out. We've, we've proven that she's lied on tape uh, many times. How, How have you took proven with, that she's lied on tape? Because she said she got married three days before the royal wedding, and that's not legally possible. And the Archbishop of Canterbury has come out and said, no, that didn't happen. OK, but that, so that's not proven as a lie. That could be proven that she, 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 she misperceived we've, we've proven what was that happened. she didn't tell the truth. I mean, she, you can you can say that it was an accidental lie or on purpose, but it was a lie. It wasn't the truth. Um, so so we have that on record. And like I say, Piers Morgan's identified 17 other, other instances. So I think he was right to call her out. But the issue here is that what's happened since he called her out. So, you know, we're on we're on we're broadcasting right now, criticizing Piers Morgan. We're doing exactly the same thing to him that he did to Meghan Markle. The only difference is he got accused of being racist for doing it because he happens to be white and she's black I mean, or mixed race I mean, or biracial. I mean, is, 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 is that a fair point, Ken? I know you want to jump in there, but but is it um, is it because white people are daring to criticise Meghan Markle and her perception of race that actually they are being shut down and that you can only be non-white to actually criticise her? Otherwise, you'll be accused of being racist. Pierce should have declared that he's got a conflict of interest because he's gone on record to say that he felt hurt that when he had a drink with her, she got drunk, he put it into a taxi and she ended up with Prince, Prince Harry. So he felt that he never had his, had his, um, his, his fill with Meghan. Now, as we go back to the royal family and, and, to, and to say about uh, um, whether, um, because he's mixed race and she said something and, and, and the, 
the royal family could not critique or come back. That's the royal family stance. And I will say this to you, who are me or you, um, uh, me or you, Calvin, to, to, to deny whether she got, they got married earlier or not? They're the royal family. They could do more likely what they like. They look like me and you. So who's to ask to oh, say what is to right, what isn't they're right? I'm, I'm, just, I, I'm just saying, I'm just saying this. I, I, and what else has she lied about that you know about? Not what Piers Morgan suggests that she's lied about, what you okay. honestly Plenty believe, and, 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 and so I'll say, said, and I'll say quite clearly, as as as, as a mixed race person, you, that you should know better about rather than calling out calling out your own, rather than defending them to know. Whoa, 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 know you need to stop. No, you need to stop. Right there, Ken, 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 I let, know, let, let, we right still suffer historical you need historical to stop right trauma, there. right? So I'm I'm coming out with it. So that, I'm leaving it to you to respond back to that. First and foremost. My race, with you, it has nothing to do with my politics, nothing to do with my opinions. And I don't appreciate you saying I need to stick by my own. My own is my family. My own is my, Christ my Christian brothers and sisters. My own is my British community. Do not dare to tell me that my own is decided by the color of my skin. Who the hell do you think you are? I'm an expert because I'm black. So I in can what? talk in the about it. My skin. I'm, you I'm a historical no, class. I, no. and, you're, and, you're, and you're not? If you, if you want to deny that part of I you, that's down to you. That you are a racist. Oh, oh yes. I, I can't, Opinion I'm, I need to have based on the color of my skin. That is outrageous. That is ridiculous. I, I, I don't know who you, you think you're talking you to. How can you call me a racist when I defend black people I just, for, for, for many years on stop Because you're serve, telling a mixed race person serve. what to think no. based on the color of their skin. And that's not okay. I'm telling you, that is racist. Well, you better, you better deal with your historical trauma because it's quite clear you need some counselling. I have to no deal historical with trauma. I mean, I mean Ken, Ken let, 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 let me just jump in a second here. I mean, Ken, do you get the point that, that Calvin is making? I mean, you're bringing in the fact that he is a mixed race man and essentially saying, well, look, you know, this is not potentially an opinion you should be holding based on the fact that you're a mixed race man. And there are some people, if I said to you uh, that I don't think you should hold a certain opinion, Ken, because of your skin colour, you would rightly accuse me of being racist. You would say that that's not an appropriate thing to say to you. So why I think Calvin's point, if I don't mind, you don't mind me saying Calvin, is that you are attributing an opinion he has to the skin colour he has, and that is certainly or surely seen as problematic. Well, simply, no. simply speaking, that we're suffering from uh, systemic racism in this country. Whether the, the, the Tony Steele Prove report... It. Where's your evidence? Or whatever, that's nonsense. Right? Since that. But I'm just saying, this is what this is what I've experienced. And if he hasn't experienced, I would like to know which part of England that he was born or he grew up to, he grew up in and never experienced any racist ba a banter coming back at him. And, and when we've got when we've got the press that is Are that we gonna mute him eventually so I can speak against, All right. Ken, against people. All right, Ken, what let, let, you've, you've, you've asked Calvin a lot of questions there. Now please just let him answer and, and, and don't try not to interrupt him. Calvin, the floor's yours. So I have an opinion based on Meghan from what I've heard, from what I've seen. I don't like her as a person. I don't like what she's done to this country. I don't like the way she's treated a British institution. I think it's inappropriate. I think many people share my opinion. The color of her skin has nothing to do with it. I don't dislike her because of the color of her skin, and I shouldn't like her because of the color of her skin. That would be racist. Now, for you to stand here and tell me that I need to like her or not like her because of the color of her skin and because of the color of my skin, that too is racist. And to, to tell me that this country has systemic racism without providing any evidence, without providing any proof, and then to refer to your own personal experience as proof is a nonsense. You might have experienced racism as an individual. That does not make you systemic. I And don't question my my past. Don't question my upbringing. That's nothing to do with you. It's nothing to do with this conversation, this debate. We are discussing a celebrity who has married into the British royal family. We're discussing whether she has lied on national television and we're discussing the appropriateness of a British journalist to question her integrity. My race, my childhood, my background has absolutely nothing to do with the conversation. And for you to bring that up and to raise that and to use that against me and to weaponize my race is racist. And I've frankly had enough of this conversation and I no longer want to engage with you, Kim. But right. Ken, but Ken, if he is he allowed. Wants to be in denial, Ken, if he wants to be in denial, that's his problem. Ken, he's allowed to hold a different opinion, and that doesn't make him some sort of traitor to the colour of his skin. The colour of his skin shouldn't actually make a difference to the way in which you're perceiving what he's saying. Do you not understand why he might be 
offended by that because, it, it, again, I will use the same analogy. If I said to you, Ken, you are not allowed to hold that opinion. You're not allowed to hold an opinion about white people because of the colour of your skin. You would say to me, rightly, how, how dare you? You are being racist. And Calvin, you have no. just done exactly the same thing to no, him. I didn't say that he's not allowed to hold it. I'm saying I'm surprised he's talking that way. So I can have my belief as from a person coming from my background who, as I said, and the work that I've been doing for the last- So why can't he have his belief when he's not that, well, well, when well, he's he mixed well, he race? You, you directly well, reference well, though, the fact that he's well, mixed well, race. He, can, but he, doesn't have, he doesn't have to be so emotional about it because it shows quite clearly that something is triggered him. And if Piers Morgan could go out there and spout mistruth, but it's all right for him to then jump on the back of that and then to spout that off about another, person to say that she's damaged a royal family, that's rubbish. But what's what, his what, race what, got to what, do with that, Ken? The fact that he's what, mixed race, what's that? What did, Why bring that into the conversation? That's the point what, that what he's got with. What did Dinah do? It's all right for Dinah to do it, but I didn't hear him talk about Dinah and uh, um, rubbishing the royal family or bringing them into disrepute, but yet, Paul Megan, who's, but, but who's, again, uh, who's a visitor. And that sure? is a valid opinion. You're welcome to critique him on the fact that he didn't bring in Diana. You're welcome to critique him on the fact that he's defending Piers. You're welcome to critique him on the fact you disagree with him. Where I think you have crossed the line is bringing in the fact that he's mixed race. Somehow you are implying that his opinion is less valid based on the fact that he is non-white. And I think that that's offended him. Do, do you well, not see why that might have offended him? Not a, not at all, because you know what? We, I go through most days getting a fit, but being. Well, then you should know better. Then you should know better. Then you should know better. I have to turn myself. I have to steal myself against it. And if he's a, an MP, God help his constituents. If that's how how, how vulnerable and, vo um, and volatile he is, he should not be in that position. He should be going into something which is that he does not get critique in that way. That's my thing. Because I'm, sh I swear to God. If he has, if that's the worst thing he's been called, and he's able to call me a racist based on one comment, come on, that but, can't be but, real but, either. But I think what he felt you were doing was critiquing his opinions based on his skin colour, which was why you referenced it. And surely that's something you've fought against all your life, Ken. That's something that you've tried to stop people feeling. You you want, don't want people feeling that their opinions are compromised or being silenced based on their their skin colour. And so I think that the fact you referenced it is the thing that's problematic. Well, maybe that's a, maybe the first time he's now realising that he's mixed race because up until then, Again, that's he must a, have been something else. That's so really I don't know. offensive, Ken. That's offensive. Well, he can take it. You guys can take it as you like. But if, as I said, from where I'm sitting and the things that I've gone through, I don't see what makes him so privileged. I mean, I mean, unless so, right? He's supposed to be, we're all in the same boat and we're all fighting to get some sort of equality. And we're not going to get it when you can get other people but maybe, fighting out. Maybe Calvin other feels things. like there is equality. Look, he's quite capable of arguing for himself, but maybe he feels that there is equality. Maybe he feels that there isn't the fight that you feel is there. He has the right to hold that opinion and to say something like, well, maybe he's forgotten he's mixed race. Again, that would be offensive. If I said to you during a debate, Ken, well, maybe, Ken, you've forgotten you're black. That would be something you would take offensively. You wouldn't welcome me saying that no, in a I debate, would, I would you? I, 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 no, I wouldn't. I wouldn't take offense to that. I would have to check in with myself and say, you know what, Christo, you've got a point there. You would and not, I hold my Ken. Hands that is my absolutely hands. ridiculous. You would not do I'm that. You would you. not say that. You would be angry I had said something like that to you and you would be right to be angry because I'm not going to invalidate or dismiss something you've said based on the fact that you are black. That is what you fight against, Ken. That is what you come on radio stations to fight against. I don't buy it for a second that if I were to say to you, well, Ken, I think that that opinion proves you've forgotten you're black, you would rightly absolutely tear my head off for that. Crystal, I, I beg to differ, I, and I said I, I'm sorry if it's perception. I mean, if you're hurt by that, but I feel that he should have more of a backbone than to allow something of of, of a, a comment to make him then feel that he has to no longer take part in this conversation. 
we, we were doing all right. So I can't understand well, well, why well, he's well. why he's making it so personal. But I will give him some. I will personally go and counsel him to, to give him some backbone. If that's what he needs. Well, I, I don't so think he, you're making things better by saying that. I don't think it's a question of backbone, Ken. I think it's a question of what's appropriate in a debate and referencing someone's skin colour in a negative way. I always thought was racism. Forgive me, but I did. <laughs> but, but but Pierce Morgan has gone way past that. But and what what's he? No one stepping up. And stepping to him, the only person who stepped to him is, is, is Alex Beersford, who stepped up and said that was that was just uncalled for. He overstepped the, the line. Now, you can't tell me that I'm of the so, same... So, so, but Alex Beresford is mixed Beersford. race and his opinion is allowed, but Calvin's mixed race and his opinion isn't allowed. That's where we are now. I just, I, I just said that he just needs to remember where, he, as far as I'm concerned, I'm just giving my own opinion. And I, 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 I may be controversial to him or to yourself, but he... Maybe I don't think it's controversial. It, I just think it's your 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 framing someone's opinion in a negative way based on their skin colour. And if I were to do that, if I were to say I'm going to dismiss what Alex Beresford says because he's mixed race, you would accuse me of being racist. You've just done the same to Calvin. You've dismissed what he said or you've questioned what he said in a negative way based on his skin colour. Now, it's got to work both ways. You might disagree with Calvin massively. You've every right to do that. I welcome your right to do that. But the fact that you frame me can't hold that opinion. You can call me naive. But don't call me racist. Don't call me racist. Well, that's racist. his right to do that. And I, you have every right I find to... That, I, find that, I find that offensive, but I, I still held my own. And, and but yeah, look what he did. Okay, right? well, look, I, I think I think we're not we're not getting anywhere, really, Ken. I mean, I get I look, I respect the fact you've come on. I think that that Calvin did what he had to do during that debate, and I think that you've made it very clear that you also think that Piers Morgan crossed a line too. I, yes, rightfully so. <laughs> I'm Chris. I'm, I thank you for providing me this platform. I, I apologise to him if he took it if he's that sensitive. It was never meant for him to take it in that manner. All right, well, well Ken, him, if he's listening along now, and, and maybe he will take that apology. But listen, I appreciate the time you've given us. That's Ken Hines, chair of the Haringey Independent Stop and Search Advisory Committee, and uh, temporarily Calvin Robinson, who was a conservative commentator.